Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com, and today I'm doing an updated video explaining how to connect your own Wi-Fi router to your Verizon 5G home internet gateway. Now, I did a video on this a little while ago, but since then Verizon has updated their software. So the process is very different from what it was back then. I would use an ethernet cable to do these setting changes. The reason is that you'll be turning off Wi-Fi at a certain point in this process. And if you do it through Wi-Fi, you'll lose control over the gateway at that point. And if you want to make changes, you just won't be able to, and you'll have to do a factory reset on the box and start all over again. So if you can, uh, use an ethernet cable connected to your computer and plug that into the LAN 1 port of the gateway. Once you've done that, you're going to have to navigate to the gateway's IP address. That is printed on the bottom of the box. In my case, it's 192.168.0.1. It may be the same for you, or it may be slightly different. So you literally just type those numbers into a browser. If you encounter a security warning, just click through that, and then it'll ask for a password. And again, that's printed on the bottom of your gateway. If that doesn't work, then you'll have to reset the gateway to reset the password and get that as a password. Go to the Advanced tab, then click Network Settings in the left menu. And when that expands, click Network Connections. Then click Edit next to Network Home Office. If that doesn't work, click the words Network Home Office. Next, click the Settings button. And then on this page, you can check the IP pass-through box. Then you can plug in your Wi-Fi router and it should just start working. Just be sure to unplug your computer from the LAN 1 port and plug that into the router because the LAN 1 port in pass-through mode does not provide internet access. It only lets you access the control panel. So after that, you should be up and running. Your Verizon gateway is providing internet access, but it's not providing the Wi-Fi routing functionality. That's being provided by your Wi-Fi router. One advantage of this is that the Verizon box is not doing as much processing in it now, and so it's dissipating less heat. And so that could result in more reliable operation and longer lifetime for that box. So that's it. Let me know if it worked in the comments or if you have any questions. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, disablemycable.com. I also will link to a blog post that describes this process on my website, disablemycable.com. Thanks a lot.